What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, King053, Mr. Easy Money, covering trending topics from local to abroad. Politics, I'm asking the questions, who's fooling who? Sports, from soccer, boxing, and MMA, I cover it all. Monthly motivational talks to inspire you. One thing for sure, I bring the receipts. So like and subscribe to be part of the movement. Union Yahoo has vowed to intensify protests to, from tomorrow until its demands are met. It's accusing governments of arrogance during negotiations. Workers affiliated to the union have been protesting since Monday. Now the union demands a 10% wage hike, but government is offering less than half of that at 4.7%. Nahal has held a media briefing this afternoon. With this arrogance <clears throat> displayed by government, it is important to confirm that Nahal continues with the strike in a more intensified manner as from tomorrow, Monday, the 13th, March 2023. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy, King King 53 Mr. Easy Money. Welcome to my YouTube channel, King Said So. And you know if King said it, then it must be true. So today we've got a, um, a bunch of news to, 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 to check. And uh, report on before Monday, uh, Monday the 13th, today is, is Sunday, as I'm recording this video. So, um, as you guys have just seen, Nehau um, is continuing with their strike and other unions are following in. They are claiming that the government is negotiating at bad, with bad faith. They are arrogant. They don't want to meet the, the what you call, the, the employer's... Um, uh, demands you know they don't want anything below the inflation rate and um, you guys know my position about this I said myself I'm working for government really besides the benefits the payment of the salaries of government are very low even though government is the highest employer we must applaud government for that that not even the private sector is employing more people more than government so there is a plus on that and um, Mm. Uh, what was interesting to say, I, I, I just want to flip the script a little bit. Uh, I'll come back to the Nahau strike. <clears throat> the Cape Town mayor was speaking about the 20th uh, of March, the strike of the EFF, the national, the national shutdown. And, um, <laughs> and I got that Tantla Lux vibe. So I was like, okay, let me hear what this guy's got to say. So he said, the businesses, the businesses are there. They talk to, to, to the DA. They said, listen, what is going to happen? What are you guys doing to protect us? And uh, the DA said, that nonsense is not going to happen. It's stupid. Uh, the the, the uh, business is going to go as usual in the Western Cape. Uh, I'm not sure if it's in the Western Cape or in, in, in um, Cape Town specifically. But let's just say Cape Town. And um, and um, and it was interesting for me. But before I give my thoughts about that, let's just quickly hear what he said. This is Jordan Hill Lewis, the mayor of Cape Town, and it's Friday, the tenth of March, twenty twenty-three. Quite a few business owners and employers in our city have been in touch about the rumor of a so-called national shutdown on the twentieth of March. Let me say, in Cape Town, it's going to be business as usual. We'll do what it takes to make sure that kids get to school on time that workers can get to work, that our economy can keep running. So, so there's two things, there's two views I have uh, about this, you know, and um, the main concern actually that the, 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 the DA has is private sector. And if the DA comes to power, private sector will strive again, but it will strive at the expense of the poor. Understand? They will be protected. The taxes will be low. Their business will be protected. Their land will be protected. There won't be any expropriation. There won't be anything. Their main thing is to protect the 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 private sector, not government. You understand? That's why you hear him speaking about this strike of the twentieth and not this strike of now. And you guys know I've got a problem with that. Why are you only addressing that strike and not this strike? Coming back to the fact that government 
is the biggest employer. So government is employing more people in Cape Town than any other um, sector, private sector, whatever. You understand? So why are you not um, addressing that? And then I was agreeing with him because I, I also don't see what a strike is going to do for us. You know what I'm saying? Um, EFF strikes the next day, the, on the 21st, what is going to change? Let's be honest, people. Nothing is going to change. The country is going to remain the same. And um, the second part of his video, then he started talking nonsense. Let's just quickly hear what he said. Can keep running. To those of you who think it's a good idea to try and organize a national shutdown, our economy is already brought to its knees by load shedding and corruption and so much else. What you are doing is hurting our economy, hurting businesses, hurting workers even more. Exactly the opposite of what you claim to stand for. Don't be stupid. Don't organize a national shutdown and don't try that nonsense in Cape Town. Here we are building for the future. We are moving forward. We are getting people into work and out of poverty. We don't have time for a national shutdown and we'll make sure it doesn't happen here. So now he says, don't organize a national strike. That's that thing is stupid. Um, don't uh, they can do it somewhere else. Not here. Not here in Cape Town. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. stop the lorry. Are you saying don't organize a national strike because it does not benefit you? This takes me back to 2016 when the DA was leading the national strike of Zuma Must Fall. Do you guys still remember that strike? Hmm? Remember at that time, the narrative that Zuma was the most corrupt, the baddest president, the baddest human on earth was running in the media, on the newspapers, everywhere you go, especially ENCA. Pushing that narrative, Zuma is the worst president. Our country will be so much better if this guy can live. Some of them are wishing him to die. Understand? Let me let me just play. Let, let me bring the receipts for you guys of that strike of Zuma must fall. It was a national strike. Our children are suffering and we are suffering too. So Zuma must fall. We are tired of Zuma. Zuma must fall! Zuma must fall! We are here to ask Jacob Zuma to resign. We're tired of corruption, tired of state capture, we're tired of everything that's going on in, in the country. Zuma must fall! And you know, everyone was going at it. Even the, the the old people came out. The old people came out. They're like Zuma must fall. And uh, you know, Mshoros is not playing around. So he saw that clip and he made his own remix. Cause Mshorozi is a is a jolly person. He's a bubbly person. So he sees uh, humor in everything. He finds uh, he finds he finds a silver lining in any situation. You remember here yeah, we're talking about the leader of the Mkondo or the military arm of the ANC. 
So what did uh, Michelle Lozi say about this? I can never forget this video, guys. <laughs> Zuma must fall, Zuma must fall, Zuma must fall, Zuma must fall, Zuma must fall. So, yeah, Mshulu, as you see, singing the same song, not bothered at all because history will tell. And history is busy telling now, but you guys are not reading the books. Which, which, which South Africa is better? The one under Cyril Ramaphosa or the one under Zoom? Be honest. Everything is going up. Crime, whatever. Eh, whatever you can think about. Jacob Zuma's time and Jacob Zuma's turn, the nine wasted years, was better than what we're experiencing now. Don't make any excuses of COVID and whatever. Don't, I don't want to hear any excuses. South Africa, right now, is worse than when what it was by, by Zuma. We had a big national strike. Everyone, you know, small children were holding um, those Zuma must fall plaquettes. They know nothing. People said they, they don't have jobs. Do you have job? Unemployment is higher now. There is nothing that you can point out that the current ANC is doing better than the previous ANC. Absolutely nothing. You know, uh, and um, uh, Musma Iman even popped a bottle. Do you guys remember that? Uh, guys, listen, this is the channel where I bring receipts. You guys might have a short memory, but I don't. I'm king. Mr. Easy Money. Let me bring the receipts. La, la. We celebrate our Jacob Zuma. Uza we are it's a good day for democracy. How are you here? Halala! Thank you very much. Halala! I'm not. So that is why that, that that's exactly what is happening right now. You hear them speaking about the EFF. Cause remember, guys, guys, please, please, wake up! All the political parties are going to try and play a card to try and win us over to vote for them next year. The EFF's first card is to see if they have numbers. Now, what they are trying to do is to say, let me close off the 20th of March. Let me make a national strike. Let me shake the country so that I can see how much power I, I really have. How many numbers do we really have on the ground? Because remember, the people are hungry. Strike bring elements of crime. So the, the, anyone is going to wear a red, red t-shirt and run around. It's like people running around in stadiums when there's manifestos. It's not really members of the party, but it's just people that are around. You know what I'm saying? So the EFF is trying to do that. You saw the ANC. Uh, currently, the, the, uh, they have started with their campaign for 2024. Uh, Cyril Ramaphosa was in, in, in KZN. And the people in KZN are having none of it. They're like, no, man, nothing has changed. We don't want this guy anymore. We don't want the ANC. We are tired. Uh, we are tired. We are sick and tired of this. Now, the DA, what they will do on the 20th, they will try to show you that, no, look, guys, in Cape Town, at least in Cape Town, where we are ruling, there was no strike. It was business as usual. So everyone is playing a card to try and win people over. You understand? You're going to see other parties trying to, to do uh, some stunts also, trying to, to, to win you over. And, um, and um, as, as you guys have seen, I wanted to report about this thing of vets, the strike at vets. Uh, they are also saying they're going to continue striking the kids and everything. Let me make my research first because I don't speak about things I don't know or understand. Uh, what I know is what you guys know, I, but I like to you know go a little bit deeper with with my things. But what was interesting that happened um, this month was Ace Mahashula singing for Cyril Ramaphosa. Now that was very interesting. I can make a whole video because I've got slips and receipts and proof of payments that Ace Mahashula does not like Cyril Ramaphosa. But today, he's singing for Sira. Let's just quickly hear what Ace said. 
President is Comrade Cyril Mantanella Ramapos. Pagama, 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 Ramapos, Iglesia, Iglesia. So as you as you guys can see, Ace is trying to come back. Remember, Ace said he'll never leave the ANC. Like I said, I've got proof receipts and I I can pull up a whole document about Ace speaking on Cyril Ramaphosa and speaking on the ANC. You understand? He tried so much fighting the ANC, took the ANC to court, did everything that he needed to do to fight. But unfortunately, Cyril Ramaphosa's faction was strong. And they managed to boot him out. What, what, what I will be speaking about on those charges of Ace Mahashula is what uh, the 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 some some cases are dropped and we don't know about it because the media does not report on it because of lack of evidence. And if really, 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 all these guys who stepped aside, both Supra Mahoma Pilu and all of those guys were guilty on something, and. Um, the faction of Cyril Ramaphosa really had documents and proof. Why are these people still not in prison today? Have you ever asked yourself that question? All of these uh, ANC uh, leaders that have stepped down because of um, they've been uh, accused or cases have been opened against them uh, by state capture and so on and so forth. Why is it that so many years later, there's still no arrest. The big names arrest. I'm not talking about small chickens that were arrested. Big names. Big names. Understand? That's why me and you, we should question everything. We should sit here and question everything. That's why we want to hold everyone accountable for their words, including myself. So this coming week is going to be crazy. We've got the Nehau strike. We've got the UNISA strike that is coming. I'm going to be reporting on that. And I'm going to do a video on ACE also. Very shocked that ACE has changed its tune. But ACE is a very clever politician. Understand? Very clever. Very clever. So he might be looking for his way back. Because ACE, they need him in free state. ACE is strong in free state. Even though when he doesn't have power. I'll, I'll get you a video where Ace tells you where I come from, no one is unemployed. Everyone is employed. Because Ace was helping his people. But anyway, that's it for tonight, guys. They do not, don't want uh, my videos to be too long. Um, please, consider subscribing. Click the uh, bell icon so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. Leave a like so that other people can... Uh, see this video this beautiful content because i'm the best in the land and then please let's meet on the comment section tell me what you think about this um um stance of the uh, mayor of cape town saying that there is no there is no shutdown the 20th of of um march in cape town tell me what you think about this nehau strike continuing keeping in mind that nehau uh, is representing the workers in, uh, who are employed by government. Government is the biggest employer. You understand what I'm saying? What do you think about this UNISA strike? What is going on there? Is there anything that's going to change? Because my little research is telling me that the management at UNISA don't want to, they don't want to budge because there's children that have failed and um, they don't want to pay for those for those students and they are full to capacity but anyway like i said let me do my my research get my receipts receipts and then come back to that until next time guys stay blessed and be honest say what you mean and mean what you say so that you can never be caught by the king 053 see you next time